Live from the Fiserv Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this is News 3 Now special coverage of the Republican National Convention. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Live. Well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Live at 4. We are in Milwaukee for the fourth and final day. Boy, time flies when yes. you're having fun, right? What a week. At the Republican National Convention. Yeah, we are waiting to see a look at Pfizer Forum. All eyes will be on that uh, arena or later on. In just under an hour and a half, the final night of speeches will start. And of course, former President Donald Trump will be taking the stage and Tucker Carlson along with professional wrestler Hulk Hogan. CEO of the UFC Dana White, Eric Trump, and of course, once again, former President Trump, they are all expected to speak tonight. We have team coverage ahead of former President Trump's speech and how the Republican National Convention may impact voters here in Wisconsin, especially undecided mm -hmm. voters. Let's start with our political reporter, Will Keneally. Will? Hey, Susan and Brady. So we're here on the Fiserv uh, Forum convention floor here, where just behind me on that stage, later tonight, former President Donald Trump will formally accept his party's nomination to appear on the November ballot. Now, it wasn't a straightforward path for Trump to get here. Uh, notably, back in 2016, he actually lost the Badger State to Ted Cruz. Now, in that primary is an open primary. Uh, he was also facing former Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Earlier in the convention, I spoke with him, asking him what Trump did since 2016 to get his vote. Well, I think proving his record. I mean, this guy is 16. I don't know what to expect out of Donald Trump because uh, he never held office before. But, you know, I say in the Midwest, we're doers, not just talkers. We're doers. He did the things he said he was going to do. Now, earlier this week, Walker was, in fact, one of Wisconsin's delegates who actually voted for President Donald Trump in that uh, convention primary uh, process there. Now, we'll continue to keep you updated as we wait for Trump's speech later tonight. But for now, reporting from the Pfizer Forum, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Thank you, Will. It's going to be a very big and potentially long night yes, tonight yes. here in Milwaukee. Let's head over to the Baird Center where Eric Franke and Charlotte Deleste are this afternoon. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, Susan and Brady, an absolutely beautiful day to finish up the week here mm -hmm. in, in Milwaukee at the Republican National Convention, not freezing and blustery like it was last yeah. night at 10. But, uh, you know, it's been a pretty good week here in Milwaukee, regardless of your political persuasion. Milwaukee's put on a pretty good show. I mean, that was their job. And we bring in our political strategist, longtime Republican strategist, uh, Brandon Schultz. Good to have you again with us Great today. To be here. All right. So this is it. We are here night four. Yeah. And this is this is the big night for Donald Trump. Big what night. are you looking forward to seeing or hearing? Well, it, it's been a crescendo of the mm -hmm. messages that they have from bringing wealth back, being safe, and crime, and now it's just going to be what happens in the future. And last night kicked off at J.D. Vance, really kind of set it up for, for the president. But what everybody is looking for is what is he going to say? Because there's a lot of things out there. He's tore up the speech. He's rewritten the speech. He's been building into unity. Is it going to be Donald Trump talking about unity tonight? He's had his opponents on the stage speaking. Is he going to be reflective uh, after what happened after the assassination of Tipper? Is he going to be forward looking with J.D. Vance? You know, it, it's the next generation kind of thing. So this may be a different Donald Trump speech than we've ever seen. It may not be the hands flailing, the, the, the screaming and the yelling. I think people are looking to see what he's going to talk about. Is he going to be unified? Is he going to talk about President Biden? It, could he just leave that go? But Donald Trump, you never know. About 15 seconds. Give us your thoughts on J.D. Vance. I know you're high on him. I, I, I wasn't when he started, but as I listened to him, I thought, man, this guy is, is pretty close to earth. He's down there with people who understand him. I think there are going to be a lot of folks in the Midwest who look at him and they can relate to him. I thought he was very sincere. I thought he was easy to relate to. He seemed like a fun guy, even though he's from Ohio State. We'll kind yeah, of we don't like that. Part of it. But I, I think he's a huge addition to the Trump ticket, and, and he plays that younger millennial crowd that's going to be so important and to the Midwest. I, I, I can't, it was a great pick, seriously. Okay, super quick, I asked this on Monday, where are Melania and Ivanka? They were not with the family on Monday. On the way here, okay. That's what you're hearing? I, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, before we were here, and I think they'll be here tonight. I don't think uh, Baron will, but Melania, I've heard, will be here. Ivanka will be here, so they'll have the family reunion in the box. All right, we'll okay. see. Stay okay. A lot of people wonder, where's Melania? Yeah. Be weird to have a convention without yeah, the former First Bear. Lady. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Thank All right, you. Brandon, thanks. Let's go back to uh, Brady and Susan at Panther Arena. 
All right, Eric, Charlotte, and Brandon, thank you so much. As Eric was just saying, regardless of your political persuasion, it appears that Milwaukee has put on a very good show this week. The convention has gone very well, yet Republicans want the Milwaukee convention to help them at the polls in our critical swing state. But does it actually matter to voters in Wisconsin? Maddie Heinz set out to find out. Maddie? That's right, Susan and Brady. We made our way outside the perimeter to ask local Milwaukeeans if this week's convention will have an actual impact on their vote. While many of them told us it was exciting to have the nation's eyes on their city, there was a general consensus that the convention is affecting their daily commute more than their political affiliation. Take a listen. I don't necessarily think it's impacting my vote just because I'm not really seeing a lot of like I guess I'm not seeing a lot of stuff around town, just like even about it. Um, you're just watching it on TV anyway. Besides that we live downtown, Besides so the, we're in it. Yeah, the, <laughs> so the, it's the, affecting like us getting in and out, but the like closures the, yeah. is the only thing. Now, in the weeks directly following the 2016 RNC in Cleveland, Hillary Clinton actually took a slight lead over Donald Trump in the polling of Ohio voters. So while behind us here in the Pfizer, the energy and strong support for Trump has been evident all week, past the perimeter is a bit of a different story. Reporting down on the floor, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. Thank you, Maddie. Well, President Joe Biden is battling more than just COVID as a growing number of Democratic lawmakers are calling on him to withdraw from the presidential race. Now, so far, 20 House Democrats have directly called on the president to exit the race. New information from the Associated Press today, as former President Barack Obama has privately expressed concerns to Democrats about President Biden's candidacy. And former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi warned Biden that Democrats could lose the ability to seize control in the House if he didn't step away from the race. And we are continuing our coverage of the RNC throughout the whole night. And of course, you can find all the latest information on our website, channel3000.com, and of course, in our later newscasts. Susan and I, along with Eric and Charlotte, and the rest of our reporters and crew that have been covering the RNC all week will also be in Chicago next month for the Democratic National Convention. It will take place at the United Center in Chicago from August 19th through the 22nd, so it's just over a month from today. We'll bring you all the latest coverage from the Windy City next month and always on channel3000.com. Well, let's go back to Madison as a cooler day across southern Wisconsin is there. Let's get a look at your first foreign forecast with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. What's good, Alex? Hey, Brady, what's good is being out on the patio. I don't want to go back in to do main weather in the studio. It's too nice for that, especially considering how warm and humid and how stormy we've been across southern Wisconsin. Look at that. 76 degrees outside across uh, Dane County right now. 76 to the west in Lone Rock. 76 to the north. I got a 72 in Monroe. Normal high temperatures for this time of year are 82 degrees. We're well below that. Refreshing. It's dry. It's gorgeous. Like I said, out here on the patio, I will go back into the studio for made weather, but I'm I was considering maybe staying outside. And speaking of staying outside, gorgeous night to get out. Low temperatures refreshing, mid 50s to wake up to Friday morning. Sunny end to the week. Rain enters the picture later on Sunday. Temperatures will stay seasonably warm through the weekend going out into next week. Notice in the muggy meter, we start inching our dew points. That's a measure of moisture back up into the middle to upper 60s as we go out into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and beyond. Coming up in Maine weather, I'm going to talk about just how long rain chances are going to stick around next week. They'll be coming up in a few moments. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for volunteering. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Alex. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, Senator Ron Johnson is here with us. That's right. The senator is sitting right next to us. He's mic'd up and ready to go. We'll have a conversation with Senator Ron Johnson when Live at 4 continues live from the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Madison, you can get the job done with Skag Commercial Power Equipment. If your business is lawn care, you can trust Skag. Simply the best. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. 
Baraboo Furniture and Mattress is celebrating Wisconsin's hot summer months with a huge hot summer sale. Save from 20 to 60% off every item store-wide. Over a million dollars of quality name brands on display in our beautiful new showroom, including Smith Brothers, Flex Steel, England, Ashley, Spring Air, Amish Furniture, and much more, all on sale. Get special free financing, all credit welcome. Hurry in today to the huge store-wide hot summer sale at Baraboo Furniture and Mattress, where your satisfaction is our guarantee. Watch this. It's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes and the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. When it's hot, all you want is some relief. Relief from the heat outside, relief from sleepless nights, and relief from big electric bills. Even your air conditioning unit needs some relief. So when you wrap your home with our premium injection foam, it's like putting your entire house in a cooler. It keeps the hot air out, the cool air in, and your electric bills lower. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. Empire makes it so easy that you just don't need to shop around. Real customers share their stories about Empire today. Everything from the beginning to the end of the process was perfect. It only took three days from start to finish. Their installation was unbelievable. I am so glad that we chose Empire. Everything that we need to get it done and get it done right. The new flooring just changes your whole house. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Madison, you can get the job done with Skag Commercial Power Equipment. If your business is lawn care, you can trust Skag. Simply the best. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. And welcome back to Milwaukee, everyone. We're about five hours away from former President Trump's acceptance speech for the Republican nomination for president here at the RNC. And you've probably seen reports that show that Donald Trump rewrote his speech following Saturday's assassination attempt. Yeah, and that's why all of his followers are expecting him to call for unity in his speech. So now the question is, will he actually do that and will he stick to it? Senator Johnson is here with us. So what do you think? Well, I just ask anybody listening right now, if, if you had just narrowly escaped death, if uh, in that uh, event where you have a new lease on life, an uh, American hero was murdered, uh, protecting his family, two other, two other Americans grievously wounded, that changed your life, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Change changed your attitude. I, I think we're hearing that out of Donald Trump. I think you just see it just in the way his demeanor has been here in the, in the convention. Um, you know, he said he had a humdinger speech. I'm sure he did. Right. Um, I'm sure he would have loved to deliver that speech. But he set that aside. He's going to give a speech more calling for unity. And, you know, I, I'm glad. I've, I've been saying for the last couple of years, even though I ran as a Tea Party candidate, we're mortgaging our kids' future. Uh, we're not fixing that problem. I still think that's a huge threat to America, but it's not our greatest, greatest threat right now. I think the greatest threat is we are a horribly divided nation politically. Mm -hmm. And as Lincoln said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. It was true before the Civil War. It's true now. Uh, so I think we need to heal and unify this nation. Um, and if this uh, event on that tragedy on Saturday, if that can be a catalyst for, you know, at least starting the healing. You know, we have enormous challenges facing this nation. It'd be so much easier fixing these problems if we can do it largely together, mm -hmm. you know, we're working together. And by the way, to, to prove my theory that we're, we, we aren't a naturally divided people, it, it, 
in the event of tragedy with you know, local, state, you know, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, fires, or 9-11. In the midst of tragedy, Americans, we come together just like that. So that's our national state, natural state. We want to be united. If we have leaders that are you know, on both sides agreeing to do that, I think it's very possible. It is a tremendous opportunity to pull us out of this partisan death spiral. But let's talk about the near tragedy on Saturday. Uh, do you think there should be congressional investigations? And there, do you there, think the director of the be. Secret there Service should step we, down? Yeah, you, you really, you know, we don't have the uh, capability to do the on-site detailed police work, that kind of investigation. Uh, but we certainly can uh, do transcribed interviews, and we should be doing that right now. Uh, I've written a letter already f to the agencies demanding that they preserve all records of communication before and after, obviously preserve all their uh, records of their investigation. Uh, we're going to have to do very complete oversight, leave no stone, stone unturned, because the American people need to know exactly what happened. This can't be, you know, in the end, uh, you know, like what happened after the JFK assassination. You know, the Warren Commission, you know, populated by people who you know, should not have uh, been on the Warren Commission, let's put it that way. So the, the American people, the, in today's world, with all the videos, with all the social media, with uh, people talking, uh, the rumors flying, uh, Secret Service, uh, FBI, they need to be addressing those rumors. Uh, they, they say they don't, they don't want conspiracy theories. Okay, well, when you brief senators, give them information. You know, address the rumors that are already out there. If they're not true, refute them. Uh, that's not what we got in our briefing, unfortunately. Senator Johnson, we are being told that we have to wrap up. We wish we had more time, but thank you for making time for us today. And hope you're enjoying the convention. It's a proud hope, moment for Wisconsin. Hope you are, too. It's turning out well. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Well, we've been talking about the temperature of politics, so let's hear about the actual temperature outside. Here's Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Alex? Brady, actual temperatures outside, gorgeous for this time of year. 72 in Mineral Point, 77 in the Dells, 76 in Madison, 75 in Janesville. Average temperatures for this time of year, they're in the lower 80s, so our temps are below normal for a change. That's not something I've said a whole lot of this summer season, below normal, even the word normal with all the severe weather that we've had. 73 in Verona, 74 to the north in Wanakee, up towards DeForest. Tonight, planning that, temperatures going down through the 60s, clear skies. We'll start off Friday morning refreshingly cool in the mid-50s. I've got a conversation going on on meteorologist Alex Harrington's Facebook. Do you have the AC off? Do you have your windows open? Hopefully you can enjoy it because we will get that humidity back in the forecast again. A sunny end to the week. Rain will be possible later Sunday. That's going to start a rainy stretch for southern Wisconsin. So farmers take note of that right now. Dry today, dry Friday, dry on Saturday, and then things change. Temperatures staying seasonable for this time of year. But the mugginess will start to go back up again. 55 to start off as we fast forward into Friday. That'll be a common number across southern Wisconsin. The mercury going back up into the upper 70s, so just an inch warmer on Friday, up near 80 in some cases. We go into Friday night, into Saturday. The clouds are going to start to stream in as we approach Saturday. Temperatures staying mild, up near 80 degrees. The clouds are a hint of things to come because the rain chances are going to be increasing. 80 on Saturday. 82 on Sunday. I'll step out of the way here. A late day shower, a thunderstorm is a possibility on Sunday. Not an all day washout expected, but that's the start of a weather pattern as our temperatures approach back to normal, if not going above normal by the time we get out later next week. Look at the mercury, one, two, three degrees warmer each day as we end next week. The muggy meter showing the dew point, that's a measure of moisture getting back into the humid category by Sunday afternoon, approaching dew points in the mid to upper 60s to near 70 degrees. That's the fuel you need for showers and thunderstorms. Daily shower and storm chances. Best chance right now looks to be Wednesday at scattered coverage at about a 50% coverage at this point in time. Not all day washouts, but daily afternoon thunderstorms with the heat of the day. The evening, those showers and storms tend to wane a little bit. Speaking of showers and storms, we've got the end of a shower and storm in our viewer photo here. Sioux sitting is this rainbow and lightning just from the a couple nights ago where we were doing wall to wall coverage. It's been a wonderful stretch here from the weather department standpoint and I'm sure you folks too in southern Wisconsin to have some quiet time. The next day we had those colder funnel clouds down near Janesville and over towards Orfordville. These typically do not touch the ground. Usually no tornado warnings associated with these. If they do touch the ground, 
if they do touch the ground, it's very brief and usually no damage whatsoever, but they can still be scary. And then another stunning rainbow photo here in the town of Springdale. Thank you, Melody, for sending us those photos. All you got to do is just get your phone out, use that QR code, scan it, and send us those photos. Just to, uh, since late last year, Jalen and folks, we've had over 2,006, almost 2,600 photos. Unbelievable amount of photos sent to us. I believe we have some more stories to cover. All right, sounds good, Alex. Thank you for some more local news. An update to a story we brought to you yesterday as a local pastor has been found not guilty of first degree child sexual assault. The jury deliberated for three hours before finding 61 year old Robert Stein not guilty on two counts. The case was first brought forward in 2023, referring to the 2019 incident when Stein was serving as a pastor at Midvale Baptist Church in Madison. The key piece to the Packers offense over the years is stepping away from playing football for now. Former Green Bay Packer wide receiver Randall Cobb has taken a gig with the SEC Network as a college football studio analyst. On Twitter, Cobb said he's not officially retiring from the game, but is excited for the new opportunity. Cobb played 13 years of the league, 10 of those being with Green Bay. Over the course of his career so far, he's amassed 7,600 yards, 54 touchdowns, and he finished his career as the Packers' fifth all-time leading pass catcher with 532 receptions. Good news when it comes to employment in Wisconsin. Governor Tony Evers and the Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development that the Badger State has hit a monthly record for employment for the second month in a row. Preliminary data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics shows unemployment rates in Wisconsin held steady at 2.9% which is below the national unemployment rate of 4.1%. And non-farm jobs increased 9,400 over the month, and private sector jobs increased 6,700. And ahead on News 3 Now at 4, we head back to Milwaukee as we look at the popular Wisconsin foods that are being consumed by Republicans at the RNC. Next at 4. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines of unlimited data for just $90. On top of that, you also get four free phones. Four free phones! What's up? You need some windows? Hey, folks, you call the experts? Right now with Felco, get free installation and no interest for five years. Call now. Just call 866 for Felco. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. It's the High V BOGO sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free. Get BOGOs, BOGOs, and more BOGOs. Buy one, get one free, including on our award winning High V Chinese. Get BOGOs on more than 100 items store wide. And when you buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. And buy one, get one free. Don't miss the High V BOGO sale this Friday through Sunday, only at High V. Right now, we're running our 60-60-60 sale. So when you purchase your new concrete coating, you get a $60 Visa gift card, plus either 60% off installation or 60-month no interest financing. This is one of our best deals of the year. So visit our website or call the number for your new floor today. Maya knows how quality care can bring out a smile. But it's been a few dog years since she was able to enjoy a smile of her own. Good thing Aspen Dental offers affordable, complete care all in one place. With flexible hours and weekend appointments. Plus 20% off treatment plans for everyone. Loving our patients unconditionally. It's one more way Aspen Dental is in your corner. Come and get your love. After careful review of medical guidance and research on pain relief, my recommendation is simple. Every home should have Salon Paws. Powerful, yet non-addictive. Targeted and long-lasting. I recommend Salon Paws. It's good medicine. He sent me to... Hi, I'm Fiona Rataj with the League of Women Voters of Dane County. Here are three things to know. Make sure you are registered to vote at your current address. You can check or register at myvote.wi.gov. If you do not have a Wisconsin driver's license or state ID, you can register to vote with your municipal clerk by completing the registration form on my vote. Absentee ballots must be requested. Three things to know, part of News 3 Now's Three Cares Community Impact.
Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's nationwide 5G coverage for free? Here we go. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream it on... Yep, it's working. Download the U.S. Cellular Try Us app today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Welcome back, everyone. It may be Thursday, but for all of the people attending the RNC here in Milwaukee, it is fried day. Yeah, fried as in <laughs> fried food. Yeah, you know what I mean? Well, there are just a bunch of local food vendors outside of the convention, so I wanted to catch up with some of the visitors and see what they were eating and... No secret there, they're all saying that they're members of the Kurd herd now. <laughs> okay, so maybe you've had your fill of politics and you're hungry for something else, maybe craving something a little less political. Well, outside of the RNC, local food vendors are highlighting all the tastes of Wisconsin. So let's go see what's cooking and what people are eating. These are really big here, these cheese curds. Have yes. you had them yet? I haven't. This is my first cheese curd right here. How excited are you? I'm so excited because I keep hearing that you haven't eaten in Wisconsin unless you've eaten a cheese curd. Okay. So. Do you mind doing your very first cheese curd on the camera for us? Absolutely. We'd be happy to. Drum roll. <laughs> What do you think? It's good. It's crunchy and gooey. It's really good. Way beats beats a mozzarella stick. I am tasting the grilled cheese sandwich with bacon and cheese curds. How's your grilled cheese? I mean, that's hard to beat. You got the bread, you got the cheese. What more can you want? Bacon. bacon. There's bacon oh, in oh my it. Gosh, I, forgot. <laughs> I think cheese curds are the hot ticket right now. How many people are you hearing say, I've never tried these before? We hear that a lot from uh, when we do uh, fairs, festivals, and community events, but we're hearing a lot more at this particular festival because we've got people coming from coast to coast, plus outside the United States. We met a lady from yesterday from Austria who uh, heard about cheese curds but wasn't quite sure what they were, so we gave her a sample and she fell in love immediately. It's no surprise that local Wisconsin cheese and, you know, maybe a beer or two are some big ticket items for people visiting our state. So with that said, um, I have some taste testing to do, so uh, can you hold this? <laughs> Sorry to break the illusion, but I haven't had time to actually do much taste testing, but a lot of really cool vendors out there, and showing off the diversity in Wisconsin, I saw um, an African cuisine vendor, a Vietnamese booth, so there's more than just cheese curds here. Cheese curds can unite the world. They can. You know what I mean? There's, there's the solution to world peace right there. We've seen delegates yep. from Texas all over the place all they're talking about are the cheese yeah. curds. You're welcome, everyone. We just <laughs> solved it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> well, we aren't the only ones indulging in a little Wisconsin food today. Dairy State staple Culver's is celebrating a milestone birthday. Well, Governor Tony Evers was on site of the first location to proclaim July 18th, Culver's Day in Wisconsin. And the building in Sauk City that stands there was built in the year 2000, much larger than the original Blue Roofed restaurant. Founder Craig Culver says the secret recipe to its growth has always been the people. My dad made it that clear to me a long time ago as well. When we had 100 or so restaurants, he said, Culver, it's not important how many restaurants we have. What's important is how many good restaurants we have. And how do you get a good anything, business, organization, people, 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 people. Culver's now has about 900 locations in 26 states across the country. Happy 40th to everybody at Culver's. <laughs> I know that when that came to my hometown, that was a big talker there. It, it's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, coming up on Live at 4, former President Donald Trump is set to accept his party's nomination for presidential candidate tonight. The latest from the convention floor when Live at 4, live from the Milwaukee RNC, continues. At Planet Fitness, you can get everything you need for just $1 down. Not me getting a Planet Fitness membership just for the 24-hour perk. You'll also get free fitness training, equipment for every workout, and more. Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $15 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends July 18th. 
Turn your old deck into dollars. You can trade in your old deck and earn cash back towards a brand new deck that is backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. All you have to do is visit tradeinmydeck.com, answer a few quick questions, and you'll see your estimated trade-in value instantly. Visit tradeinmydeck.com. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. This summer, feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello Permanent Bath Removal and get summer body ready in just one visit. I saw the results immediately. It's the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. My waist is tiny. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. I'm nearly 50, y'all, and my abs haven't been this flat since before I had kids. For a limited time, take advantage of Sonobello's biggest sale of the year. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It will change your life. It did for me. I can't wait till the summertime hit. Hot mom summer, here I come. Call 1-800-905-6520 now or go to sonobello.com to claim special pricing. Many window installers lack proper training. At Next Door and Window, we're reinventing window installation. Our installers are certified and trained to ensure your windows are sealed tight and energy efficient. Visit nextwindow.com to learn more. After long-standing efforts from Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin, three of the four biggest pharmaceutical companies say they're going to start capping the prices of their inhalers. They used to charge families like ours $600 a month for an inhaler, even though they cost less than five bucks to make. So Tammy Baldwin fought the drug companies and she won. Now Hadley's inhaler costs $35 and we're breathing easier. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. I don't work for the drug companies. I work for you. At Planet Fitness, you can get everything you need for just $1 down. Not me getting a Planet Fitness membership just for the 24-hour perk. You'll also get free fitness training, equipment for every workout, and more. Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $15 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends July 18th. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Live from the Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this is News 3 Now special coverage of the Republican National Convention. Welcome back, everyone, to Live at 4 in Milwaukee. You're taking a live look at the convention floor on this fourth and final day of the Republican National Convention. Everything has been leading up to tonight. We are just about an hour away from the start of tonight's speeches as former President Donald Trump is expected to accept the party's nomination. Our political reporter, Will Keneally, is there and he has more on what we can expect tonight. Will? Yes, sir. Down here on the Pfizer Forum floor, where just on that stage behind me in just a few hours here, former President Donald Trump will formally accept his party's nomination to be on the November ballot. Now, we're wondering certainly what will be part of his speech. We know that tonight's theme is Make America Great once again. So you could see him talk about his record of his past presidency and what the next four years could look like. Other notable speakers include uh, Dana White, CEO of UFC, and Hulk Hogan, a couple of celebrities there. And we will also hear from uh, Donald Trump's son, Eric Trump, as well. So a lot to look forward to. We'll keep you updated on the floor here throughout the night. But for now, reporting from the Pfizer Forum, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Will, thank you very much. President Biden is battling more than just COVID as a growing number of Democratic lawmakers have begun to call for President Biden to withdraw from the race. So far, 25 House Democrats have directly called on the president to exit the race. New information from the Associated Press today as former President Barack Obama has privately expressed concerns to Democrats about President Biden's candidacy. And former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi warned that Biden uh, warned Biden uh, and that, that the Democrats could lose the ability to seize control in the House if President Biden doesn't step away from the, of the, from the race. But other Democrats say Biden is still their guy. Our campaign is not working through any scenarios where President Biden is not uh, the top of the ticket. Uh, he is and will be the Democratic nominee. President Biden says he is not backing out of the race and he plans to accept the party nomination next month in Chicago. 
With thousands of visitors in Wisconsin for the RNC, well, they need somewhere to stay. So the RNC in Milwaukee made a deal with hotels to block off their schedules for this week. One resort hosting delegates is the Abbey Resort on Lake Geneva. The general manager of the Abbey has set aside his 340 rooms to host one of the state's delegates. The Abbey is one of 110 hotels in Wisconsin contracted for the convention, stretching from Sheboygan, Madison, and Kenosha. In the end, the GM of the Abbey says he wants to showcase what Lake Geneva and Wisconsin both have to offer. At the end of the week, what do you want your customers and your guests to take away from their experience here? We really hope that what they take away is an experience that says, we want to come back to Wisconsin, we want to come back to Lake Geneva, and we want to come back to the Abbey. If we've done that, we've really accomplished our mission for the week. These resorts and hotels have had years to plan for this week. Visit Milwaukee approached them actually in the spring of 2022. Yeah, more than two years ago to get their support. Brady and I, along with Eric and Charlotte, by the way, and the, West, the rest of our reporters and crew that have been covering the RNC all week here in Milwaukee, we will also be in Chicago next month basically a month from wow. tomorrow for the Democratic National Convention. It's going to come up fast. It will take place at the United Center August 19th through the 22nd and we'll be bringing you all of the latest coverage from the Windy City and always on Channel3000.com. Well, let's go back to Madison and get a look at our first warm forecast. We just mentioned the Windy City. How's the wind in our city, Alex? <laughs> calm, quite calm. Refreshing. If we get a little bit of that breeze, it's gorgeous. A lot of folks posting on my Facebook, I got the AC off, I've got the windows open to let in that nice air, and it is gorgeous across southern Wisconsin. Right now, current conditions, Madison 76. That dew point is 52 degrees. That's a dry dew point, and that wind out of the north northwest at 7, very light. 77 in Boskville, 76 to the north in Camp Douglas. We've got a 71 in Monroe. That's a kind of a cool spot. 72 in Mineral Point. A little bit chilly in southwestern Wisconsin. Normal highs are on 82 degrees. So this is anywhere between 5 and 10 degrees below normal. But I doubt there are very many complaints in southern Wisconsin with mid to low to mid 70s out there right now. Planning the rest of your night tonight. We'll go down into the 60s starting off Friday right around 55 degrees. The rain will make its return on Sunday coming up in main weather. We'll talk uh, more about Dallas rain chances and the humidity chances as well. Speaking of today, history-wise, July 18th, 1996, was the last F5 or EF5 tornado in Oakfield, Wisconsin. Luckily, no deaths, but more than $40 million in damage. Some more tornado stats coming up in main weather. We'll be right back. We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Madison, you can get the job done with Gravely and Aaron's Power Equipment. Acre after acre, year after year, Gravely and Aaron's can help you get the job done right. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. Service and savings. It's Woodman's. Hi, we're, we're the Woodman's. Woodman's. I'm Clint. I'm Phil, saving you big time money on honey and tea. 12 ounce bargain bee honey, just two for five dollars. Or 20 count Bigelow tea, two for five dollars. I caramba the hot, hot prices on honey and tea. Bargain bee, two for five. Bigelow, also two for five. Enjoy honey and tea season and save lots of money. Better, better products, products better, better prices, prices, better service because we're employee owned. It's good men's. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> Goobers! <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today. Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to delicious. delicious. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower. So he went right to work on handling the project. That's him going online researching bathtub and shower installers. And there he is, calling a few places to get an estimate. I think he's procrastinating. Call 1-800-HANSONS for a new shower or bathtub you'll love. Installed in as little as one day. It's okay. I called 1-800-HANSONS. We custom fit your new bathtub or shower into your existing space for a fast, convenient, and hassle-free installation with any safety features your family needs. 
safety bars, seats, and more with a no leak guarantee. Oh, hey, I'm gonna call 1-800 Hansons. That's great, hon. Get 50% off installation or no interest and no payments for one year. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800 Hansons. Get it done. We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Medicine, you can get the job done with Gravely and Aaron's Power Equipment. Acre after acre, year after year, Gravely and Aaron's can help you get the job done right. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. New at 5, pressure is mounting for President Biden to drop out of the race. That pressure from his own party will get some insight from local political leaders. Comfortable temperatures Friday going into Saturday. Then we inch our way up temperature-wise through the 10-day forecast at 5. When can you expect rain with the warmer temperatures? And ahead at 6, will being chosen by Republicans to host their national convention sway Wisconsin voters? Will canvas Milwaukee to find out? That's tonight at 6. On this last day of the RNC, hey, look, we understand that this is a politically charged time, and a lot of people can experience stress, anxiety, depression when they're actually talking about all these political things. Mm -hmm. our, Ma our Merrill Hubbard is in Madison today, and she spoke to some locals about how they're feeling about politics and this election year. With the current political climate we have in the United States, politics can be really polarizing. They can create tension between families, friends, and loved ones. And for all those reasons and more, it can be really hard to talk about. While Madison stands as a liberal stronghold in Wisconsin, that doesn't mean everyone has the same political views. Over the past eight years, people have gravitated away from the middle to match more polarized ends of the left and right. In consequence, this divide can draw people away from family and friends, so much so that people will tip toe around talking about politics. It's hard. It's hard to talk about. It's hard to accept sometimes. But I do think it's important to talk about it. I mean, we, we can talk about it. Doug's a Republican, I'm a Democrat, and we can talk about it, and we should, and that's the only way to go, go about it instead of avoiding everybody. With this being an election year and the RNC wrapping up this week, this is a reminder to take care of your family, friends, and mental health. Reporting in Madison, Merrill Hubbard, News 3 Now. Good. Four more Democrats are calling on President Biden to remove himself as the Democratic nominee for president. Charles Franklin is in our studio. We're talking with him about what this could mean for the presidential race. When Live at 4, live from Milwaukee, continue. nice and you just come home knowing that it's yours. It's a sense of pride, sense of ownership, and enjoying it with everyone I love and care for. Make a lasting impact on local families in need. Please donate today. My mental health was better, but uncontrollable movements called TD, tardive dyskinesia, started disrupting my day. TD felt embarrassing. I felt like disconnecting. I asked my doctor about treating my TD and learned about Ingresa. Ingresa is clinically proven for reducing TD. Most people saw results in just two weeks. People taking Ingresa can stay on most mental health meds. Only number one prescribed Ingresa has simple dosing for TD. Always one pill, once daily. Ingresa can cause depression, suicidal thoughts, or actions in patients with Huntington's disease. Pay close attention to and call your doctor if you become depressed, have sudden changes in mood, behaviors, feelings, or have thoughts of suicide. Don't take Ingresa if you're allergic to its ingredients. Ingresa may cause serious side effects, including angioedema, potential heart rhythm problems, and abnormal movements. Report fevers, stiff muscles, or problems thinking as these may be life-threatening. Sleepiness is the most common side effect. Take control by asking your doctor about Ingresa. Ingresa. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. 
It's the High V BOGO Sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free. Get BOGOs, BOGOs, and more BOGOs. Buy one, get one free, including on our award winning High V Chinese. Get BOGOs on more than 100 items store wide. And when you buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. And buy one, get one free. Don't miss the High V BOGO Sale this Friday through Sunday, only at High V. Madison Magazine's Summer Restaurant Week is here. Over 40 restaurants will showcase three-course meals from $30. Plus, enjoy the perfect pairings with wine and more from Delicato Family Wines and Frederick Wildman and & Sons. Check our online guide on madisonmagazine.com to see which places offer takeout and dine-in. Save the dates July 21st through 26th. Madison Magazine's Summer Restaurant Week, where good times and great meals come together. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Coal Fund and supporting sponsor, Roth Cheese. Welcome back to Milwaukee, everybody. We're just about an hour away now from the final night of speeches here at the RNC. And tonight, presidential, Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump will address his supporters for the first time since receiving the nomination. Then on the other side of the aisle, more Democrats are coming forward asking President Joe Biden to step aside in this election. Charles Franklin joins us from our studio in Madison. I want to start with Mr. Trump. So unity has been the buzzword all week here. So. Will former President Donald Trump actually reflect that in his speech? Will he call for unity? And will he be able to help himself from going off script and turning this into one of his rallies? What do you think? Well, what we've been hearing from Don Jr. and others around the president, former president, is that it will be a much more unifying speech, that they basically rewrote it since Saturday's shooting. Uh, that'll be very interesting to watch. Donald Trump has a rally speech that he gives and that his base responds to. Will he pivot to a broader theme of unity, which might be appealing to undecided voters and people who aren't Republicans, but can he deliver on that speech? So it'll be TV worth watching this evening. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Let's talk a little bit about President Biden. It feels like the ground is shifting for him as more and more Democrats come forward asking him to remove himself from the race. And you're the, the polling expert. I understand there was a poll released yesterday about how Democrats feel about that. What did it show? The Associated Press put out a poll yesterday and found 64 percent of Democrats said Biden should drop out of the race. That's remarkably high. Over the whole public, it was only 70 percent that said he should drop out. So it's almost the same among Democrats as it is with the public at large. And so if he were to drop out, does that mean chaos for the Democratic Party? And then who would likely take over? How would all that work? Well, we're hearing a lot of talk that Kamala Harris would be the odds-on favorite. Uh, there would be advantages for her nomination. After all, she's been on the primary ballot as vice president, so a small move there, and voters had, in one sense, voted for her. Um, also, that would help with transferring money from the Biden campaign to a Harris campaign. Uh, and it would involve uh, or avoid some conflicts and with back the host to of others. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Charles. I apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. I was finished. <laughs> We're good. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit back to former President Trump. We are in completely new political territory now um, following the attempted assassination of former President Trump. How do you think the two parties have um, stark political differences? How do, you, how do they discuss legitimate policy issues without being accused now of inciting violence? Yeah, I think it's a tricky line to, to find. You can certainly talk about issues of the economy and immigration and abortion policy and respect for democracy without using language that paints the other side as a abject threat to the existence of the country. So there is a possibility to move that rhetoric a little bit and make it a little bit less inflammatory while still pushing the very legitimate differences that divide the two parties.
right, Charles, and we will find out what happens tonight. Thank you for being with us all week. We really appreciate well, it. Thank you for your time, Charles. We'll see you in Chicago, if not before then. Thank you so much. Thank you. And let's take a trip back to Madison to get a check of our forecast. Hey, Alex. Hey, Brady, welcome back virtually here and folks tuning in. Welcome as well. 76 right now is our temperature in Madison. We got 76 in Lone Rock, 77 in Boscobel. Let's tie the 77 in the Dells right now. A little cooler over portions of southwestern Wisconsin where we've got 71s and 72s in Mineral Point, Platteville and Monroe, respectively. Hey, what's up with our three things that you need to know here? A sunny end to the week. The rain will start to build back in later Sunday, and that's a hint of things to come. Farmers, as I was mentioning earlier in the newscast, this is your time to get out and get the hay in and so forth. It will dry the next couple of days, and then the rain chances will turn on. Seasonal, seasonable, meaning normal temperatures, will return by the time we get out further into next week here. As we move forward here with the rest of our graphics, and for whatever reason, they seem to be stuck, I'm gonna step off over to the side here and see if I can get my graphics to move here again. This uh, remote might need a new battery, so we'll just see where we can go with our, gra <laughs> with our graphics here. We'll move forward and uh, go right into the upcoming weekend. Saturday and Sunday, temperatures getting up to around 80 degrees. Sunday is maybe not the better pick of the weekend when temperatures getting up to 82. We've got some shower and storm chances that will build in, but at least Temperatures will be on the nice side. 82, that's normal for this time of year. 83 by the time we get to the end of next week. 85 as we approach that Sunday time frame. Beyond next week as well, or I should say going on into next week as well, we'll have the humidity returning to southern Wisconsin, especially by Sunday, Monday going into Tuesday with dew points climbing back up into the 60s to near 70 in some cases, especially by the end of the 10 day forecast, it'll turn a little bit more on the steamy side as we head towards Saturday and Sunday of next weekend. Hey, I said we would have some more tornado stats. Here we are. Can you believe this? 41 tornadoes so far this year in Wisconsin and the National Weather Service has issued 54 tornado warnings. That's the most since 1986. We'll be back in a couple of moments. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Pittsburgh's ultra-advanced semi-transparent exterior stain and sealant in one can be applied on damp wood, allowing you to clean the surface and stain in one day. Get a gallon for $34.48 after rebate. Pittsburgh's Paramount is a premium exterior wood stain and sealant in one. It provides enhanced waterproofing protection and resists cracking and peeling for a durable finish. A gallon starts at $38.97 after 11% rebate. Save big money at GA, the advanced form of dry age-related macular degeneration can irreversibly damage your vision. It can progress faster than you think. When GA threatens your eyes, take a stand. Slow GA with Cyfovri. Cyfovri is an eye injection that was proven to slow damaging lesion growth over two years with increasing effect over time. It's the only FDA-approved treatment to slow GA in as few as six doses per year. Don't take Cyfovri if you have an infection or active swelling in or around your eye that may include pain and redness. Cyfovri can cause serious side effects such as eye infection and retinal detachments, severe inflammation of vessels in the retina which may result in severe vision loss, wet AMD, eye inflammation, and an increase in eye pressure. Most common side effects are eye discomfort, wet AMD, small specks floating in vision, and blood in the white of the eye. Tell your doctor right away if you have any side effects. Every moment counts. Act now to slow GA with Cyfovri. Ask your retina specialist about Cyfovri. New at five, pressure is mounting for President Biden to drop out of the race from his own party. We get insights from local political leaders. Then a look at how this political season is impacting mental health and personal relationships. That's coming up next. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now.
Well, take a look at this. Meet Lambo. Yes, named after Green Bay's iconic Lambo Field. He is the service dog for Wisconsin delegate Terrence Wall, who is from Middleton. Hey, Lambo. Well, he has stolen the hearts of so many people at this convention. The seven-year-old English Labrador Retriever helps monitor Wall's heart defect. Wall says Lambo hasn't been at an event this large, but he sure does love all this attention as he has taken pictures with just hundreds of people throughout the week. And here's the thing, that includes our own Charlotte Deleste, <laughs> our best buddies now. She really fell in love with him, didn't she? We all fell in love <laughs> with him. Oh, he was so, and that's what you need. Yeah. You know what I mean? Animal therapy. It, yeah. Animal yeah. therapy, it just cheers everybody up. That's such a great picture of Charlotte. I'll have uh -huh. to send that to him so that he can have it. Yeah, well, go pet a dog quick. We'll be right back. When you need to relax and recharge your body and mind, retreat to the comfort of stressless furniture at the Century House. Designed to harmonize with the natural movements of your body, it's where true comfort begins and every day should end. Get a $100 instant rebate for every $1,000 spent and $200 off four dining chairs at the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. A roof replacement can cost you $15,000, $20,000, or even more. But 9 out of 10 roofs don't need replaced. They can be rejuvenated with RoofMax for just a fraction of the cost. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. I'm an original shark from the hit television show, Shark Tank. When it comes to RoofMax, I'm all in. When I saw that RoofMax could extend the life of your roof by years, I decided to invest in the company. Don't replace. Rejuvenate with RoofMax. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to delicious. delicious. Right now, we're running our 60-60-60 sale, so when you purchase your new concrete coating, you get a $60 Visa gift card, plus either 60% off installation or 60-month no-interest financing. This is one of our best deals of the year, so visit our website or call the number for your new floor today. A lot of law firms claim to be experts at handling injury cases that involve large trucks. But handling one trucking case does not make you an expert on the subject. Experience matters in these cases. One local firm has handled 25 trucking cases which resulted in payments over $1 million each, and hundreds of others as well. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. And that wraps up today's Live at Four. And tomorrow on Live at Four, Wendy Gillette will share some ideas of some of the best drink and food trails around the nation. And, but coming up tonight at 5, we are still live from the RNC as we sit down with Senate Republican candidate Eric Hovde. That's coming up next on News 3 Now at 5, live from Milwaukee. Thanks so much for watching Live at 4, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We hope to see you right back here coming up for News 3 Now at 5, which starts right now.